everybody and welcome back to another video. We're going to be doing something kind of fun today. We're going to be doing a, a tier list on all of the uh, all the celestial bodies in KSP. Uh, so all the planets and the moons. I thought this would be a little bit different thing to do. Kind of fun. So uh, yeah, let's uh, jump straight uh, straight into it. So um, this was uh, created by someone called Kestrel James. So go uh, go follow him if you if you think this is a good tier list. I think he did a great job. I don't know. Well, it wasn't really that hard. He just import the files from the from the folders in KSC. But hey, you know, I was too lazy to do it, so I don't know. Maybe yeah, only has 16 followers, so yeah. Um, also, while while you're in the in the following mood, oh my gosh, guys, go smash my subscribe button, hit the comment, go join my Discord, hit the like button, hit the join button. Oh my gosh, free YOLO swag 2021 gift card Amazon giveaway. You won't believe what happened to be at 3 a.m. challenge. Oh, buy YOLO fidget spinner swagger Fortnite pro gamer Minecraft. I, I I think that's what you're supposed to. I think that I think I covered all the bases. Yeah, I think I think yep. I think that is a professional, a professional YouTuber plug out of the way. So, uh, yeah, like I said, let's get straight into it. So, pretty standard uh, tier list thing here. So we have the S tier all the way down to the F tier. Obviously, F is the worst. S is the amazing superior Soviet approved rank. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be good starting with Moho all the way down to Kerbin. So let's get straight into it with Moho F tier. Moho's garbage. I hate Moho. <laughs> um, yeah, so it is the closest to the sun, which is kind of cool, but Moho is just, it's such a pain to get to. Like, it's, it's it's on an inclined door, but it takes a lot of Delta V. It's always like a mess of maneuver nodes and, oh, we could have enough Delta V. Oh, yeah. And then it's like like an hour later of exhaustion and, oh, it's, it's a big brown rock. Yay. Totally worth it. All right. Uh, next up is the Mun. We're going to go ahead and put that in the A tier. So, Mun is actually one of my favorite places to go. The Mun is like a, it's like a generic gray rock, but it's like, it's like a good generic gray rock. It's, it's how a generic gray rock is supposed to be. The Mun to me feels like, it's like an open book. It's like a sandbox destination. You can do whatever you want on the Mun. You know, you can, it's, it doesn't have a lot of gravity. It's really easy to get to from Kerbin. So, you know, you can do, send recreations there, you know, because, you know, a lot of recreate, you know, a lot of people in real life wanted to go to the moon. So a lot of recreations you can do there. You can do bases solar you, you know bases you can do space stations you can do shuttles you can do all sorts of fun crap sstos so yeah the month it's like it's like a sandbox place and it's easy it's just fun it's relaxing you know i i really like the one it has some cool easter eggs and stuff so yeah so mun awesome next up elu not awesome elu is going to get a d tier and the big reason for that is because it has some very old outdated textures that i don't think have ever been updated elu Elu's surface is uggery. Uggery, I tell you. It is uggery. Um, yeah, don't go. I mean, it's cool because it's the furthest um, away from the Kerbal, from the sun. And, you know, it kind of, it kind of has a cool looking color to it, you know. Um, but, yeah, I don't think that, that that's what saves it from the F tier. That doesn't really get it any higher. So um, that's Elu. Moving on to Drez. Wait, what Drez doesn't exist? That's fake news. I mean, memes aside, uh, it's, a, it's a solid C tier for me. Um, I know what generic gray rock is not a D or an F. So um, Drez has the Drez Canyon, which is pretty cool. And I, I, Drez kind of has a special place in my heart because I did a series on it called Make Drez Great Again, where I tried to reinvigorate the love for Drez and it <laughs> clearly didn't succeed. Uh, so yeah, it's a C tier. Um, I know some people might have it as an F, but it kind of, it kind of, it's, it's middle of the road for me. You know, it's, it's, you know, I go there okay, and it looks kind of cool, you know, different colors. I don't know if that really helps it, but. Uh, that's Drez. Talking about another average place is going to be Val, which is going to head up to the C tier as well. Val really, to me, is just an average destination. It's the second moon of Jewel, if you don't know. And it's just, it's blue. You know, that's kind of cool, but it's, you know, I, I never really get excited about going to Val. Like, there are some other places that I'm like, oh, we're going to go here. It's going to be fun. It's going to be amazing. When I go into Val, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, we're headed to Val. Like, that. that's cool, you know? And it's never really exciting. And, you know... It's never, nothing, nothing fun is ever happening at Val, and, uh, yeah, that's my opinion on Val. It's not bad, it, you know, it's blue, it kind of looks like Minmus, it's named after Val, it's, you know, it, it, it's middle of the road, it's average, you know, nothing wrong with that. Um, next up, next up is going to be Ike, we like Ike, Ike like me, Ike like me, no like Ike, Ike is a D tier, so, Ike, Ike is just a generic gray rock done wrong, uh, it's not quite as bad as, um, as Moho, because I don't literally want to pull my hair out when I'm going there. But Ike, nonetheless, is is kind of annoying. Um, it's just, it's 
it's just boring. I shouldn't even say it, it, annoying. It's just boring. You know, there's like, why would I go to Ike when I can go to the Mon? It's like a less cool version of the Mon. There's like, there's like no unique thing about Ike. Like it's the moon of Duna. Like, and, okay. Um, <laughs> it's just, yeah. So that there's nothing really special about it. Um, let's move on to Pole, which is going to be a B tier. Pole is the outermost Julian moon, if you don't know. And the reason Pole becomes a B tier, in my opinion, is because it is, in fact, awesome. <laughs> it has the coolest surface features in the whole game, I think. It has, like, those weird spiky things you can see in my video I did about Pole. It has, like, some weird spiky surface feature things. It's really cool. It's super unique. Never seen any other place in KSB have stuff like that. So, yeah, it's a B tier. Solid B tier. So, next up is going to be a Tylo, which is the biggest... Uh, celestial body in KSP that does not have an atmosphere. So it's really challenging to get to and back. So, you know, it's kind of a fun challenge, but it's also big, boring, gray, brown rock. So it's going to be a C tier. So because of the fun challenge, it's kind of, it kind of elevates it, but it is, it is, it, it looks, it looks really boring. So uh, for that reason, it's going to be another middle of the road type of a place. So a solid C tier. Like that, that you know, that's not bad. But um, next up is, uh, next up is Gilly. Next up is the, it's the smallest. Celestial body in the Kerbin system. It's kind of an asteroid. It's kind of fun So that definitely gives it some points because it's fun to kind of mess around there with the super low gravity, but it is nonetheless Boring brown asteroid thing that is ugly. I think Gilly might not also have revamped textures You can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it is ugly. So for that reason C tier It's you know, it, it's fun to mess around in Gilly, you know, so that that's why it's gonna get moved up to the to the C tier Next up is going to be Eve, the final boss of the game, the hardest celestial body to get to and back. It is very challenging, very difficult, and a very solid B tier. Um, uh, yeah, the really the, the distinguishing thing about Eve is the is the challenge that it uh, it represents, and it's really uh, it's really fulfilling to get you know to succeed doing an Eve mission. So um, yeah, the reason it's not an A or an S tier uh, is obviously um, it's because there's not really any other things you can do about it. Like, you, you get there and you go back. That's what you do with Eve. You can't, like, make bases and stuff on there and, you know, do, like, a colony and have, like, shuttles that go up and down. Like, you know, you get there, you, you go there, you go back, and you never think about it again because it was such a pain. But it is cool. It does look... It's a cool-looking place. So, for those reasons, it is a B tier. Next up is going to be Minmus, which is also going to get a B tier. Uh, Minmus is a cool place. It is uh, probably the first place that most people go in KSP. I actually went to the Mun first, but Minmus is the minty moon of Kerbin. Um, the Minmus Flats are probably one of my favorite places in the whole Kerbin system just because it's so easy to build bases and land there. It's not hilly. It's just it's just flat. It's awesome. Epic. And it looks like ice cream. So, yeah, it's a solid, solid B tier. Next up, we have Jewel. J -j 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 -l 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 C tier. Um, Jewel is the gas giant, um, is the only gas giant, so that is, that is certainly unique about it. Um, it's a green gas giant, so that's also unique, but you can't really land on it, so I don't I really don't know how to judge this one, um, how to judge Jewel, because you can't land on it, but it's, you can go in the atmosphere, so it's cool. It looks okay, so I'm primarily judging it based on looks, and with the 1.10 update, it got a visual revamp, so it looks pretty good. Uh, the old texture might have unfortunately been down at a D tier, but Jewel is cool. I like Jewel. It's a gas giant. It's unique. It's cool. So C tier, yeah. You know? Yeah. Bob. B tier. For one reason, it has the Kraken, my favorite Easter egg in the entire game. So yeah, Bop gets a good old a good old B tier from me. I like Bop. You know, it's it's it is kind of a generic brown gray rock, but it's on a really inclined orbit around Jewel, and it, you know it's it has a Kraken, my favorite Easter egg. So B tier that makes up for a lot of the a lot of the ugliness that it is <laughs> that is present. And also got that uh, visual update in one point eleven. So yeah. Down to the last three. So, Lathe. Where does Lathe go? E tier. I really like Lathe. Lathe is, Lathe is really cool. Like, and how the crap does this work? Water, land, what? In Jewel, that far away. It's like as far as Jupiter and it has water. So it's cool. It's so fun to go to. It's a fun challenge. Um, what's really keeping it out of the S tier is it really isn't like, it's, I don't get as excited to go to it. Um, just because it's a little bit harder to get to. If it was like, as if it was like orbiting Kerbin, then maybe I would um, put it as an S tier. But it is, it is really cool. I like, I like Lathe. Lathe is awesome. 
And speaking of an awesome place, Duna is also going to be in the A tier. Duna is Duna is great. It's, it's, it offers a great balance of, you know, you know, atmosphere to help you with landing and planes work on it. And it's easy to take off because the atmosphere is also pretty thin. And it's also Mars and there's also a different, decent variety of biomes. You know, you have the hilly bits and there's the Duna face, which is cool. And the, the ice caps it's, and it's Mars, obviously. So all sorts of great stuff that put Duna and it's easy to get to. It's it's just a pretty chill place. It's awesome. I like Duna. Duna epic. Duna fun. Duna amazing. But now we have made it to the final, the final place, and that is the Kerbin, the original, the starting place of the game. And where else would Kerbin be aside from the S tier? It, it's where the Kerbals are from. The KSC is there, and like even if you don't, if even if you don't even look at that, it is by far the the coolest planet. It has like. Deserts, mountains, oceans, grasslands, ice, everything. There is everything there. You know, hilly parts. There's everything. It has definitely the most variety of biomes. So, um, and the best, some really cool Easter eggs, like, you know, the UFO and the other stuff. So, yeah, for that reason, um, Kerbin's going to be number one. And that is going to be my tier list of all the planets in KSP. So, uh, let me know what you think. Do you disagree? Probably. Um, <laughs> are you probably going to let me know in the comments? Probably. Um, so yeah, I look forward to reading some of those comments. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. So like, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate or comment to this video. Once again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.